It gives us time to heal. The time has come. Creation will be reborn from the remains of the gods. Oh! Let's go! What the f Radiant spirits. Heed my word. Holy sh! What? How did they get in the dream? Wake up! Wake up! Oh, that scene needs to be at least thirty seconds longer. Oh, that was so cool. Oh, what a hype moment! Huh? Are you all right? Can you hear me? Do you remember your name? Didn't I shoot the sun out of the sky? Uh, kind of. It was General Ching Yuan who helped us shoot it down. That's sick. The reinforcements, man. But... I feel like that was a bit overkill. <laughs> I feel like all we needed was Acheron to come in. I don't think we- I didn't think we need to summon an entire army. We return to reality. Look, this is your room. I don't know. I see an exception. Is this a dream? Everyone else has also returned from the dreamscape. Himeko and the rest are at the lobby discussing matters with the general. Thankfully, I managed to get everyone out before the harmonious choir collapsed. Oh, nice. Wow, she is really powerful. Oh, so that's what happened. Uh, thank you, Miss Black Swan. What about the rest of the citizens that were in the dreamscape? Are you talking about all of them? Don't mention it. After all... I wouldn't want to see such precious memories vanish. I was expecting Firefly, Acheron, Boot Hill. I was, ex I was expecting all of them to come into play in the final battle. Was it really just us three, me, March, and Himiko that took took him on? You're not planning on doing something like last time, are you? I don't know. She did trick us, so to speak, but nothing bad ever really happened. <laughs> Why would you think that? I've never harbored any ill intentions. Well, not when you are around, anyway. She is truly the path of nihility. Man, what a battle. Holy uh, shirt bags. I thought Boot Hill would play a bigger role, but he's just he was just a side character that's just kind of going along for the ride. Well, fork me. You must be that Stellaron they were talking about. Man, it's like, it's not even a secret anymore. You guys keep talking openly about the Stellaron in my body. Fork, huh? I myself prefer spooning. <laughs> Allow me to introduce him to you. This is Boot Hill, a galaxy ranger. Does she have to be like in ghost form? Everyone, let's hurry up and look for Miss Himiko, shall we? He's now a minor star on Panacone, and the entire yeah. hotel's concerned about his well-being. Ah, uh, you know, ain't no thing. You know, all in a day's work with the trailblazing, you know? It's just the... It's just what we do. Seems like everything else out here is fine. Look, they're with the general. Yeah, here, here comes the general. The general possesses a deep understanding of the greater good. With the Sienjo Alliance mediating, peace for Pentaconi is within reach. Was there gonna be a war? I didn't get that impression. They mentioned that there were IPC starships coming into orbit or something. I did not feel that urgency. Although the war was like within. I feel like there's a disconnect. I really wish if, if the IPC was a bigger threat, it didn't seem like so. All, the biggest threat was Eventrian, which, you know, he's been banished to the Shadow Realm. Who knows if he'll come back. And then we saw Topaz for a brief second. We see two soldiers in the lobby. I don't feel the IPC presence at all. That could have used a little bit more emphasis. You flatter me. But ultimately, it's been all down to the Express. Without your efforts, this sweet dream paradise would have been claimed by the last remnants of order before there was even a shot at peace. Nice. We did it, gang. Well, would you look at that? Here comes the big hero. Hey, General. Nice to see you. 
Let me guess, you were thinking about me again? I do what I can, there's nothing really. <laughs> if it isn't the galactic baseballer, a hero with unparalleled insight. Yes, that is the correct answer and this is the correct response. Hell yeah. Me and Jin Yuan, we go way back, you know. I do feel that some people, some characters, uh, their role kind of felt unfulfilled. Bringing the Sienjo in, that did kind of feel like left field. Maybe they should have planted that story device like earlier, like in 2.1. But either way, I think that's inc that's crazy fan service to, to, to have them come in. That's another thing. Why did they have to bench Firefly? We had all these forces coming into play to take on the big baddie. We got Gallagher and his gang, we got Firefly, well, adventuring until he died. Acheron, Black Swan, like this this could have been a really cool kind of coming together. Like if Acheron was there, Acheron would have just cut his head off. <laughs> so maybe they had to bench some characters, but Firefly? Really? We spent this whole time, this arc is all about her. And at the very end, they bench her? Why? What's going to happen to Miss Robin? She and Sunday won't be able to deny their involvement in the Charmony Festival. They're siblings after all. Is Robin gonna be uh, marked as a criminal? <sighs> Why the sigh, General? I can only say that this incident is an unexpected mess for the girl. The Alliance will try to persuade the family to consider this matter carefully during mediation. Oh my gosh! That sucks! Guilty by association? It's time, everyone. The IPC's key members and I have agreed to consult one another before the upcoming negotiation. Do any of you wish to sit in? Uh, yes please. <laughs> After everything we've done, I feel like we should have front seats. Given the General's invitation and the matter's significance to the universe, the crew will naturally accept. However, if the IPC has any reservations... Yeah, f*** the IPC! God! What'd they ever do to us, besides give us topaz? If there can be reliable observers from the Astral Express present, discussions will go more smoothly. So, what do you all think? I think that's a great idea. <laughs> Not to worry. Himako and I won't take care of things. Wait, wait, hold on. Hey, I want to come. I'm afraid I'll also have to return to the Express first. The conductor is worried about us. It's best I go and explain the situation. Thank you. What about you, hmm? Will you join Welt and me? Or have you got other plans? <laughs> Don't know why, but something tells me I have one, only one option. <laughs> Good guess. Yeah! Anytime this guy talks to me, it feels good. Although I'm not too sure of the reason. The representatives from the IPC have insisted on his presence. Allow me to lead the way. Follow me, please. It's an ambush. We're going to be doing this in a hotel lobby. We are like high ranking representatives of each of our factions. I feel like this is not a place to hold negotiations. Mr. Aventurine and Miss Topaz are here too. Oh, and who is that over there? Aventurine's the back? Fields, Dr. Ratio. This assembly is quite something. Wait a minute. You're telling me that fool just comes back? There's no scene or event that at least explains it? Oh, that is so disappointing. Come on, what a... You have the entirety of 2.1 dedicated to him and this is how he just comes back to his story? That really deflates the weight that it brought. Ah, uh, well at least Topaz is here. I want to talk to Topaz. But I'm probably going to talk to everyone. It's been a while, my Astral Express friends. So now that he's alive and well and he's here, I think IPC owes us, like, a ton of money for the grievances he's caused. I would also extend my sincere thanks to you, General of the Lawfu. The presence of everyone here assures that the talks will likely reach a conclusion that satisfies all sides. Oh. Looks like everyone has come with expectations. Care to share? Of course. Topaz, if you please. So not gonna talk about why he's back? Sure, leave it to me. In summary, that's good news. 
After much deliberation from the Strategic Investment Department's Council, the absolute majority of members have agreed to the following resolutions. It's like, it's either this or this. In light of long-term considerations for interastral peace, and by authority of Pierpoint HQ, the Strategic Investment Department, on behalf of the Interastral Peace Corporation, will permanently relinquish its claim on Penacony sovereignty and offer unconditional support of the family's rebuilding efforts on Penacony. What? After all, after trying to collect debt from Bellabog, how come the family gets all this privilege? That's unfair. Uh. <laughs> now that's something. <laughs> does that mean my dream took a hit for nothing? What's in it for you guys? So the APC does it. That one's boring. Yeah, jab this fool. <laughs> well, if that's what it takes to bring peace to the entire universe, it's a price I'll gladly pay. You still have to explain why you're back. Has the IPC finished sharing all its thoughts? Then it's our turn. The Guild, much like the Genius Society, has taken a keen interest in the recent calamity in Penacony. Ultimately, both parties have agreed to a comprehensive collaboration, offering technical support for the reconstruction of Penacony. Where is this love for Bellabog? Why is Bellabog left to, def to fend for itself, whereas Penacony, which had, like, ulterior motives and infighting in the family, and which basically caused the calamity that's happened here how come all these factions are here to, for, with full support for all these people that were in a dream world that's ah uh, that's whack after deliberations with my partners we have decided to defer the progress of the simulated universe project and instead assist the intelligentsia guild as technological consultants in the research of the dreamscape and memory zone so that these assets may be better used to serve humanity. Wow, what, all for free? <laughs> it's a little too good to be true. I'm truly happy for the Dream Chasers on Penacony. The cosmos's brightest and, let's admit, dimmer intellects are now at their service. Yeah, it's a big W for everyone. I keep getting the feeling that this is all too good to be true. Yeah. Yeah. That's too uh, neat and tidy to not be suspicious. Agreed. It's hard to imagine members of the Genius Society taking an interest in such mundane research. <sighs> Never mind. At the end of the day, this is a positive outcome. I don't know. Well, I think we need to remain on guard. Now that everyone's minds are at ease, I shall take my leave. You may now depart with peace of mind. The Alliance will deal with all subsequent procedures. Hey, that's a pretty good deal. Not only do they come in at the last second to help us out, but they're here to land a hand to for the cleanup efforts so we can just dip. That's a pretty good deal, guys. And all came from a Jade Abacus. Case, it appears that we have nothing else to worry about on Penacony. Looks like it's time for us to embark on a new voyage. Wow, that was fast. Given how long we stayed on the Sienjo, we're already leaving? Sounds good to me. Penacony's journey ends here. <laughs> I guess it was pretty fruitful. What? Come on. Give me a little bit more about Firefly. Why is it venturing back? Well, seems the dust is finally settled now. Well done, friend. No explanation? Did I miss something? I guess we really do just go back to the parlor car, huh? Allow me to explain. Mr. Boothill and Miss Black Swan submitted a request to temporarily travel with the Express for their own personal reasons. Hey, that's actually pretty exciting. Given we're the Ashel Express, the renowned Nameless, there's only like five people here. If we include Pom Pom. I, I like the idea of the Ashel Express actually growing in size. Whoa, the Express is going to be much livelier now. But 
Miss Black Swan, you better not use your memo keeper abilities to pull any pranks. Yeah, March, call her out. Make her uncomfortable. Set the record straight. The, put up some boundaries. <laughs> Understood, Miss March. I promise you, you'll never see me in your room while you're taking a break. <laughs> I mean, you can come into my room. Uh, don't! You're freaking me out! What kind of music is this? Suspicious music? Oh, you're here. Seeing your reflection among the stars in the porthole <laughs> really does seem somewhat surreal. How about it? This journey of beautiful dreams. Was it to your liking? What a roller coaster. It's just so peak. Keep keep it coming. It kind of left me wanting more, you know? Seems like there's still a lot of loose ends, no? It's nothing like it's nothing short of Dust X Machina. <laughs> this thing is so self-aware. That's what I was gonna say. Everything got cleaned up a little too neatly. I'm gonna say you kinda left me wanting more. Tinge of regret, I sense. Oh, these are the kinds of lasting memories I cherish. Okay. Every time she talks like that about looking at my memories, it's like she's it's like someone with X-ray vision kinda seeing through you. It's a little invasive, Black Swan. You should probably be a little bit more reserved and polite when it comes to saying things like that out loud to the person you're talking to. So, how about you hand that small parting gift back to me? I'm quite eager to have it back. I thought that was mine. You gave it to me. No, take these backsies. Hmm. Oh, she's frowning. Oh? I wasn't the one who broke it. Hmm. Never mind. I just stumbled upon a particularly fascinating spot in your memory. Oh, did you remember Akron or something? Before I explain, I would like to apologize to you. This farewell gift I gave you isn't really a compass from the memory zone, but merely an empty light cone. What? Life, seemingly vast, offers but a scant collection of impactful memories. Some joyful, some sorrowful, some light, some heavy. But you are different. Oh? Memory is a reflection of the future. Within that reflection, I see your unparalleled worth. You have the power to craft memories that can captivate the world. Your memory can illuminate the universe's future path. Yeah, this, do you get what I'm saying about a game that makes you feel special? Ah, uh, no, I, I, get a, I do get a kick out of that. And that memory will be as scintillating as the star clusters you see in this porthole. You're making me blush. Which is why you want to collect my memories. Precisely. But do you know the deeper meaning behind it? The reason is simple. In this grandiose and ostentatious dream of the families, only you personally experienced the entire course. Oh? Stop speaking of riddles. <laughs> Patience, my friend. I will reveal the answer to you, but that time is not now. Okay. Experience the entire course. Does that mean that my memories are the most robust in terms of what I saw and actually retained? Turn around and take a look at your friends. Every one of them is reveling at the arrival of their next destination, all filled with hopes and expectations of their own present and future. Revealing everything at this moment would be a bit of a buzzkill, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, you, but you could just tell me. I don't have to say anything. I'm looking for an opportune time. A time when you're totally at ease. Perhaps when the night grows hazy and you're about to drift off would be the most opportune. 
How about one fine night? I will prepare the candles, aromatics, and even a cushy couch to create a cozy dreamland for you. And then I will tell you the answer in the form of a little bedtime story to lull you to sleep. Yay, that's not a bad deal, Black Swan. Happy to have you on board. I, I am all for the candles and aromatics and the cushy couch. Can it just be us two in the room and with the door closed? The Express is about to make the jump. Please be seated and hold on. Damn, we really are just leaving. We're just done with Panacone? Is it because we destroyed the dreamscape so lore-wise there's nothing to go back to? <laughs> It looks like we're finally about to set off. There are countless gleaming memories out there waiting for us. Why don't we just leave it at that for now? Panic on the Atlanta Dreams at the end. Are they gonna show credits? Lead actor's Dozer. Yeah! Starring. Don Hung is Don Hung. Don't think as much of him. Fireflies, fireflies, yeah. May this journey lead us starward. You're feeling very relaxed now, aren't you? So, then, it's time to tell you a little bedtime story. Oh, I thought we had to wait. Okay, okay. Go on, Black Swan. Well, let's start with a conclusion. The crew was defeated in the battle against Sunday. Everyone in Panacone failed, and no one survived. Wait, did we? Did, am I still in a dream? Every, everyone in Panacone failed. No one survived. So did we all just die to the Stellaron or something? Okay, let, let's continue. But don't panic. The truth, as horrifying as it may be, is not yet irreversible. There's still a glimmer of hope, and that's why I'm here. Wait, so everything we witnessed wasn't real? Next, I'll use this empty light comb that carries all your memories to relive everything that happened before. And when this story reaches its end, I'm sure someone as clever as you will notice that. There's a major flaw in the story you have experienced. Yet, within that flaw lies a glimmer of hope. Is that why adventuring showed up and there was no explanation? Are you ready for it? <laughs> yeah. The major flaw, which contradicts all the known information, hides in this story. Hmm. <laughs> Little Misha. Or should I call him the Watchmaker? Oh. Well, Misha is a rather special memory zone meme, and he was granted power by the Trail Plays. There's still one thing that he shouldn't be able to do. A life born in the memory zone could never manifest in reality. So, why did he appear in the Reverie Hotel in reality? True! The answer is simple. He is the one fatal variable that contradicts all our known information. This means that you, who wholeheartedly believe in this memory, are still trapped in the dreamscape at this very moment. It is Inception! It... What the fuck? Oh my god! Wake up, sleepyhead. Break free from this eternal dream and return to the real world. We'll find our answers there. The train is about to make the jump! Five... Four... I am stunned. This way, darling. 
Thank you so much, Black Swan. <laughs> Finally, I can breathe a sigh of relief. The deja vu strong with this scene. I understand you must be confused, and we'll do our best to shed light on the situation. However, before that, it's essential to know that this place is the rift between dream and reality. A place reserved only for those who have awakened from Enna's dream. Unfortunately, it didn't stop there. From the early days of our journey into Asdana, we were already affected by the Stellaron. That strange dreamscape where we met. Maybe it was a sign that your thoughts were beginning to drift away. I don't know. I don't feel like being silly right now. All this is just a dream. I don't think the goal of the Order was to put everyone into a deep sleep. Quite the contrary. They used the Stellaron to catalyze the leakage of Astana's Memoria into the material world, allowing the dreamscape to blend with reality. Oh. Oh, shit. And that included a lot of Memoria from the Beyond the Sky Choir. As time came and went, the dreams eventually became indistinguishable from reality, and reality became an illusion. People think they are awake. But their spirits have long since stepped into the Temple of Order. Oh no. This is what makes Anna's dream so powerful. In this paradise governed by the Order, everyone indulges in their delightful dreams and lives happily ever after. Oh my god. This is... This got so much better. I... I every... I had a whole spiel about what happened before and all the like little things that I pointed out to come to this reveal this is insane and I'm so glad that this wasn't spoiled for me <laughs> yeah, I'm blasting through stream four the gleam of old place here we are it's Robin <gasps> all right Finally! Okay, so- Oh, she's playing an even bigger role. Okay. Finally. You've arrived. Oh, she was expecting us. Let me introduce you to Robin. She woke up from Anna's dream by her own will. And it's this tough lady who led us here with her song. <gasps> oh, okay. So Robin also played a, a role in getting us awake. Now we're gonna have- Really have the Avengers coming together to beat- Whatever is happening. At present, it has become impervious due to people's desire to remain slumbering within the dream. And in order to destroy it, we must make everyone in Penacony want to wake up. Okay. Now comes the tricky part. How do we do it? Indeed. I'm afraid it's almost as difficult as resurrecting an eon. But we can't just stay here and do nothing. Hey, these guys are awake. This is a critical moment for the whole universe. Who cares about some dumb number? <laughs> Thanks to Black Swan. <laughs> this is exactly what I was asking for. The Avengers coming together. The real challenge is... How can we gather a huge number of people as determined as you within a short period of time? Are we gonna use the Jade Abacus again? <sighs> Looks like the Jade Abacus of Allying Oath will be the only solution. No. No need for that. Keep your once in a lifetime treasure. We don't need to bother the Sienjo Alliance for such a tiny request. You, you want thousands of people with unwavering free will? <laughs> That's easy. Oh, Boot Hill's about to bring in something crucial to the story? Just leave it to us, Galaxy Rangers. Once the dreamscape is swayed, I'll complete the second step. I'll fine-tune the slumbering souls with the Song of the Harmony, interrupting them with the discord of Trailblaze, and guiding them towards reality. It's true that some people are born strong, and others are born weak. If the Trailblaze is the target of heroes, then the Harmony will guarantee that the strong help the weak. 
Only the people of Penacony themselves can be the saviors of their homeland. The Harmonious Choir possesses the power of an emanator. To overcome it, you'll need the same level of power. The final step in destroying the sweet dream will be my responsibility. That's a relief to hear. She almost says that like passive aggressively. <laughs> now that our roles are assigned, let's get to our battlefield and pose a grand finale. May I have a moment alone with you? There's one more thing I need to explain to you. Oh, please, cuz, man, this is a lot going on. This grand festival is drawing to its close. This is the starting point for the ultimate stage of our journey. Just as it marked the beginning of all the stories in Panacone. This is where Firefly uncovered the truth. Indeed, she was the first to discover the world beyond the shores of death and shared this truth with all of us. There's something you should know. We were able to locate you within this boundless dream and find the key to breaking free from the dream, all because of one person's unwavering dedication. Okay. We mustn't fail her determination. I'm not implying that we must win this fight no matter what, but our resolve should match that of that courageous lady. Oh, pff, of course, man. I'm the trailblazing. I'm the galactic baseballer. Are you ready? Let's embark on the final stage. Very well. Now, please close your eyes. Okay. Yeah, that's a good team. Will I ever see them again? Yes, that is certain. Because it was you who told me about the Express, your two former companions. The expedition cut short by the swarm, your narrow escape from death, and your encounter with the Galaxy Rangers. Oh, is this that third guy that disappeared? And Penacony, the hometown to which you could never return. Yeah, for countless times, I got rejected by the family and had to pass it by. But I knew that my companion was still there. Alone. Mikhail. Tiernan. This is Tiernan this whole time! Wow! It's paying off in droves right now, this story. Take my hand and come with me. We will leave this place. Please, tell me your name. This whole time he didn't bother knowing the name? Well, he's a dead spirit. Perhaps my existence will vanish in the next moment and nobody will remember this conversation or your answer. But I believe that your name should be remembered. And this universe will remember it as well. For me, some things are difficult to recall. Yet there are others that I find challenging to forget. Such is memory. A creation of the past that blossoms into significance in the distant future. I remember that marks the start of my journey. The origin of the vibrant red hue in my life. And the most fervent element amidst every tempest. Dude, he's about to disappear. Tell him your name. That's my name. What? Raiden. Ozen Mori. May.
Acheron for short, though. <laughs> Let's go! Oh my gosh, the writing. The golden dream is getting restless. In the coming long nights, I'm afraid you will face many setbacks and witness many tragedies. And in the end, you will only see in black and white. But please believe me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will appear once more. Holy shit! What you must do is ponder its significance, then return to the waking world. That's where we all find our answers. This is the hype! This is the hype I was looking for! Oh! Have you broken free from the dream of order? We've done enough sleeping already! Let's show them a wake-up call! Let's f***ing go! F*** this guy up! Wake up, everyone! Bounce Listen this shit! No Alright, let's speed it up, though. Time to say bye. Oh, yeah, three phases this time! Okay. Dusted for oblivion. Okay, let's get that shield going. Nice, we got the shield. Yeah, the skill point right there. Ulti for Acheron. I weep for the departed. Without order, how can the weak be righteous? I'm so happy right now. This is so good. Ulti. Let the show begin. Let's go, Clocky. Let's get them together. Oh, I'm so gonna regret this tomorrow. I I gotta wake up in a few hours. Holy shit. Dusted for oblivion. I weep for the departed. Please, I don't wanna die. It too shall Alright, I don't wanna fail this battle. I'm so hyped with it. No, stop it! Ooh, ooh, that's a lot of damage. Oh shit! Scripted, scripted. Music. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna cry. This is so good. There seems to be another kind of sound coming into the Order Symphony. Panacone's first and last disharmony. Click to use Horizon's Echo from afar to attack enemies. All right, we just summon the Astral Express train just to come in to, to help mop them up. Those All right. imprisoned in their dreams are awakening for freedom. Oh, <laughs> noise, Robin. Is that you singing? <laughs> you have heard their cries. This is not the paradise they hoped for. Even so. They don't know where they should be heading. That's why I had to become the lone star in the sky to guide them. Even if that star must hang in a perpetual night of solitude. Okay, let's all team. <laughs> I'm actually crying, guys. <laughs> Let's, let's, let's ulti with this one first, begin. get the harmony buff in, and then we're gonna Good ulti time. with Kafka. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> this is so good. Okay, let's call in the train. The will of the weak. Yeah! Let's go, Himiko! We will never choose to run. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry I doubted this patch 
<laughs> it's still long with a lot of fluff. Listen up. If we had never experienced solitude, how could we have embarked on different paths? No. <gasps> Our final talk has concluded. All the work Another cinematic? Has been completed. The inevitable day has arrived. The embryo of philosophy will reshape for us all of reality. If your paradise can save more people, Sever my path with your hands! Oh, we ate, we aim to. Truth. Every time you break the layer of uh, enemy toughness, you gain a certain collective shield. <laughs> the music! I thought it would be tough to beat Wildfire. Holy shit. That's the benefit of having a VTuber. You can't see tears unless I toggle it. <laughs> yeah, let's hit him with this. It's Okay, okay. Let's bounce. Alright, set we're on the seventh bar. I command you to heed my son. Oh no you don't. Uh oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, okay, this you just run the train. Ooh, in the face! Dude, we took two bars with that. Oh shit! Oh, we lost Kafka. Okay. Let's heal, let's heal. We got this! Don't worry, it's just a scrape. Alright, alright. Please don't let me lose. This would suck. Okay, we're on the third bar. We got some heals. How insolent! By the solemn desire for order. Stop it! You want to achieve the paradise we promised. But the order is not the only choice. True happiness and the meaning of life lie in defying the night. Sorry, I want to hear what Rum says. And embracing all that life offers. Yeah! Okay, let's hit him with the blast. For oblivion. Okay, we're on the last bar. Hit him with the train. Hit him with the train. Have a noble soul. Don't be shackled by the past. Ooh. <laughs> Another journey begins. Yeah, we don't even need Kafka. Let's go. And we're gonna ult you with Acheron. Departed. It too shall fall. Keep up with me. Wake up! Free will or was Oh, this last health bit is gonna take a while. Oh, we're, we're chipping it away. We're gonna throw it the next. The weakness of humanity cannot be redeemed by others. Alright, finish off with the train! Oh, this is what I wanted. So, why does life slumber? Because someday I'm talking. We will wake from our dreams. they put their animation budget all at the in end the first year <laughs> we're staring into the cosmos right now 
Oh, I need to press the button. Brother, <laughs> do you think the stars will fade away? Where did that come all of a sudden? Because the constellation that looks like a bird, the torrent eagles, looks a bit dim lately. <laughs> it's the torment eagles. Don't worry, it's still there. It's just it's located in the inner ring of Peniconi and can only be seen when spring and summer overlap. As for the question you asked, I think stars do die, just like people. That's true. But do you know, sister? No star actually belongs to the present. The light we see from them is from a long time ago. Even after the stars perish, their light will travel millions of light years, spanning countless years, to illuminate the night sky of another world. In our paradise, I believe there will be a star like that, shining with the same light. Its radiance will last forever, and its name will be happiness. No, not just one star. We should have two stars. Or maybe even more. Yeah, you're right. It's a deal. It's a deal, then. This is our promise. And nothing will sway our ideals. Yeah, you bet. Panicone, Land of the Dreams, the end. Okay, are they gonna show us the credits again? It was all a dream again. Lead actors, dozer. May this journey lead us starward. It's a pleasure to hear your voice again. Congratulations. You've become the biggest winner of this festival. Are you calling just to poke fun at me? So he's back now. For real this time? No. I'm just impressed. Not only did you venture alone into Peniconi and discover the truth of Dreamflux Reef, but you also managed to escape with the help of that Knight of Beauty. What? A Genti? Came in clutch for this guy? Remember the recording you received <clears throat> from your Trailblaze friend? It's now the most valuable chip in this game. I'm on my way to Peniconi. Once everyone is settled, we'll return to Pier Point for the final showdown. So, it was all in the previous fake scene. It was all nice and peaceful and wrapped up. I feel like this time around, it's going to be a lot messier. Sounds like I'll be out of the action for a while. Finally, a chance to kick back and relax. Yeah, leave everything to me and Topaz, child. Thanks to you, as soon as the Jade Stone was delivered to the family's compound, we finished up our preparations. Oh, IPC, next villain? The seeds we planted have taken root. Soon, it'll be time to reap the rewards. Huh? Let's wrap it up for now. Looks like I've got a visitor here. Is it Black Swan? Oh, oh boot hill. So many surprises today. Didn't expect a galaxy ranger and wanted criminal to show up here. He's wanted? I didn't hear about that. One who managed to take out two IPC members under the noses of our fleet. Do you understand what that means? Screw Wubba Boo, I just put him to sleep. Don't try to intimidate me with that nonsense. Besides, I've taken down more IPC lackeys than the residual value you squeezed. And I don't mind adding a few more zeros to my wanted poster. I have a question for you. Be honest, or I don't mind putting a bullet into your head. Tell me, where is Oswaldo Snyder? Head of the marketing department. Uh, marketing development department. Oh, this guy is after an IPC member. To be continued. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What a ride. 
you know those one of those rides that you ride that's longer than expected and has a big finale at the <sighs> end but for some reason the ride has a lot of <sighs> slow parts that are kind of boring that's what this update was <sighs> despite all the slow or poor pacing that some of the areas <sighs> were in this update it did not take away from the finale just like i felt with 2.0 and 2.1 2.0 was okay 2.1 had a long draggy part but the finale was amazing and made up for it this finale for this whole arc uh, who knows how much longer it's gonna go i was very disappointed to hear that we're gonna leave pentaconi already so that was well done that did set me up with different expectations that after hearing that stuff is still going on i was very very pleasantly surprised well done with this update it did ultimately pay in droves stay tuned if you haven't done so already subscribe to me on youtube i have content there i'm more of a youtuber than a streamer but i stream <laughs>